guys, in this video let's unbox and have a look at the latest in the realme series, the realme u1 and check out its glass resistance and structural strength. The realme u1 is the first device in the world to introduce the mediatek 2.11 gigahertz mt6771 otherwise known as a p70 which is quite a powerful mid-range processor. Comparatively it has a bit more power than the snapdragon 660 found in devices like the xiaomi mi a2 and also scores higher on antutu. On unboxing the phone, the first thing you notice is a striking glossy looking back. Even though it is plastic, it has been given a glass finish and reflects light in a very attractive way. So looks wise it is almost as good as the huawei honor 8x, the most beautiful budget device of 2018. But the realme u1 does have the dew drop which in my opinion is the best implementation of the notch, first seen on the already tested realme 2 pro. in clarity and detail levels compared to the rear camera. This pre-applied screen protector in the realme series is mainly used to cover up poor quality glass which are very prone to scratches compared to higher quality glasses. So has the glass protection provided on the realme u1 been improved or not we will soon find out in the scratch test. Continuing with the test let's find out the quality of this glass protection you are paying for by rubbing it with common atoms found in pockets like keys and coins and then with a heavy duty box cutter. Devices which have high quality corning glasses may get a few faint marks from the key or coins but always do survive the blade. But in case of poor quality glasses provided on phones like the vivo v9 pro, y81, samsung galaxy j6 2018 and the realme series, the blade causes ugly scuff marks on the glass. So let's see if the realme u1 is able to survive the blade abuse or not. As it turns out and proven time and again, the pre-applied screen protector is simply a cost cutting measure as usual to cover up poor quality glass protection which is very prone to scratches. Now moving on to fun stuff with value, the bend test. Will the realme u1 be able to survive in tight pockets or other accidental high pressure situations? Even though the structure of the realme u1 felt a bit stronger compared to previous models like the realme 2 pro, there was a king developed near the power keys during the bend which was kind of a fuss in the realme series. But besides that the realme u1 does survive the bend test. 